It is now the perfect time to start buying up shares of Tesla. And if so, why is everyone so excited about the month of October when it comes to Tesla as well? Let's go ahead and break it down. Now, Tesla is one of the most interesting stocks in the stock market for a whole lot of reasons, but you guys know, I've been quite negative about Tesla, especially earlier this year. But if you have not noticed, Tesla is up almost 50% in just the last six months. So there's some stuff going on here, but let's just get this out of the way. Okay, just bring it in, bring it in. I call it like I see it. Okay, if the stock is down, I'm going to tell you the stock is down. If the stock is up, I'm going to tell you the stock is up. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it, okay? There are people in the comments that want to just put on their Elon hats and call it like it is. That ain't me. I look at the numbers. It's up. So we're going to talk about it. If it's down, we're going to talk about it. And that's that's what it is, okay? I'm not going to sit here and guess. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and try and bend things to make them the way I want them to be. I talk about things the way they are, okay? So right now, the stock is up, and it might be time to buy more. So why is that the case? And why wasn't it the case to buy shares when the stock was down? So let's talk about all these things. So number one, again, right now the stock, at the time we're doing this video, the stock is up 48% in the last six months. However, and this is extremely important. However, the stock is only up 4% in the last year. So if I zoom out and look at the entire year, it's only up 4%. So that shows you how much money the stock had to make just to break even, to make 5%, okay? you That is a ridiculous number, okay? In six months, you had to make 50%. If I zoom out, it's only up just five when you factor in that gain. That is still crazy. That shows you how much of a loss Tesla had to come up through, okay? But it is showing momentum and started showing momentum back in July. Now, looking forward, it might be time to buy more. And I do still hold some shares of Tesla, right? I still still hold some right now. I may have gotten rid of some, but I still hold some. The exact same approach I took with Amazon several years ago. I told you about that the exact same approach or similar approach that I took with NVIDIA, right? I didn't sell any NVIDIA, but I did continue to hold. So this is a, a similar approach where I did sell off some, took my gains and held on to a few shares. Now I might be looking to buy. In October though, this is what some people are looking forward to. Number one, they should be announcing earnings in the middle of October. I think it is October 15th, but those days do tend to move and they also are having their robo taxi event thing. Now what I would not do and be very careful here, especially if you are a new investor, what I would not do is try to put all of your money in one stock. I would not do that. It's very dangerous would not do that for any company but what i would not do is, is put all my money in one stock and then hope that these two events go well anytime you're investing around earnings the stock can be volatile it could jump 20 percent. that has happened before okay i've also seen stocks lose 20 percent. we saw that happen with nike when it dropped like 20 26 percent in a single day okay now could tesla jump 26 percent in a single day maybe i don't know same thing with the robo taxi event i think people are hoping and assuming that these are going to be good results and a good event maybe they will i also remember the time they unveiled that ugly tesla truck it is ugly i call it like i see it where he like threw the brick at the window he said it was like bulletproof or whatever and it did crack did the stock fall in the day honestly i don't remember who who does right so I don't know whether those two things are, are going to help or hurt, but I do know, fair or foul, the stock does have somewhat of a cult following and maybe it won't matter. Maybe it won't matter and maybe people will push up the stock in either case. What I can tell you is aside from the cult following, the business side of things, they have been making more money. They have been producing more vehicles. The margins, that is the percent that they have been keeping, right, from the from what they buy and sell, the price in which they buy and sell things, has been increasing. And I think it was like 26% or so from like 18%. That's good. That is really good. When you have a 26% margin or so, a double digit margin business, that is very good. I don't care how annoying he may be on Twitter or X or whatever it is he's doing today. A 26% margin business is very good. So again, calling it like I see it, 
that is very good. Now, is Tesla a perfect business? No, we've talked about some of their weaknesses and some of the things that they need to correct and fix. Those things are still out there. But again, they are on a positive trajectory and a positive trend from <clears throat> from a stock market, uh, stock market per perspective. What I can tell you about Tesla is they do tend to go on cycles. Some people call this seasonality where, and we talked about this when it comes to energy stocks, some parts of the year, energy stocks do well. You can say this with, um, uh, I was going to say target, but some consumer stocks, some consumer stocks do well around the holiday season and then fall off or not do as well other times of the year. Defensive stocks do well when it's recession time, right? Tesla, while I don't think has a time of the year where it does well and vice versa, I can say though, and you can look at the last 10 years or so, there are times when Tesla takes off, like absolutely takes off, does incredibly well for an extended period of time, and then falls off. I still, I, I think right now this is that takeoff season. This is that takeoff season. We are relatively early in that takeoff season. July would have been the perfect point, but I don't have a crystal ball and I don't get alerts every single time that this is the perfect takeoff season, right? We're two months too late, but it's still very early in this particular period. Normally these things do last sometimes for years, right? NVIDIA is still on this takeoff, but this is, this is like one, one of those times. And again, because the year long trend is just five, 5%, five I still think we are very, very early in the long run. Now, what I would consider doing is still, well, I would not do rather, I wouldn't just bet my money and say, oh, I'm just gonna see what's, what's gonna happen on earnings season. I'm gonna see what happens with the robot tax event and then get upset if October doesn't go the way I wanted to. Yeah, wouldn't I do that? What I would do is still take a long-term view. What I would do is either put money in the Tesla whenever you finish your research and do whatever you wanna do. But what I would do if I'm gonna assess whether or not this was a successful investment or not, is again, take that long-term approach, either look back six months from now or look back a year from now and see how this investment is going to do or how it did. That is how I evaluate my own investments and that is exactly how I would evaluate Tesla to see, again, how this is going to, to do. The reason why you wanna do that is because that's just how the stock market tends to play out and you start to take out that variability and that is how, again, you wanna just approach this, the stock market in general, okay? That's just how you want to attack the stock market in, in general, okay? What you don't want to do is just sell on a bad day. We still got an election. We still got all types of stuff that's going to happen in, in the middle of all this stuff. You don't want to press the button on a bad day and the stock market still do well, right? And, and you just chose the wrong day to sell and the stock market bounced. For example, <clears throat> We've had, we had, we started off, what was it, last month, two months ago, where the stock market did not do well. The Fed cut interest rates, Tesla was up 11%. Earlier this year, just earlier this year, for example, Tesla was not one of the best stocks. In fact, Tesla was one of the worst stocks. I am 90% sure I did a video around how Tesla was one of the worst stocks. At that point in time, it was one of the worst stocks. Was that not the case? Was that not the case? It, it was. Now, things have changed and it is not, uh, or I do not believe that it will be here pretty soon. Now, one question I'm sure you're asking is, well, if this is the case, if things are changing, would it not have made sense for you to continue investing in the stock regardless? Just continue dollar cost averaging, even though the stock was bad. What about buy low, sell high, and all that type of stuff? Well, there is a case to be made that you are more than welcome to do that. You're more than welcome to do that. Uh, obviously, this is why I invest in index funds. Nobody's perfect, include myself. Okay? Ta-da. Right? That's, that's why I still put so much money in index funds to begin with. Uh, but in this particular case, remember, the stock is still only up 5% over the last year for a reason. Okay, so it still tells you that had you dollar cost average in the, in the last year or so, remember that when a stock drops by so much, it's going to force you to make even more to dig up out of that hole. So I don't know what the exact math is on 20%. I don't have these stats memorized. But for example, if you lose, if let's say you start with $100 and you lose $20, you don't need $20 to break even anymore because you have 80 
right? You, you need even more, right? So you need more money to break even than what you did to begin with or from a from a percent perspective because now for example you you know you have you're down to 80 you need more than 20 percent to break even so whether it's 25 percent i think it is or whatever that number is going to be we'll put the math here to to be exact so now instead of you know i lost 20 percent now i need 25 percent i lost 50 percent now i need 65 percent or whatever it is to break even that makes it even harder Right. So in this case, I don't want to have to lose 40 or 50 percent because it's going to be near impossible to for that stock to get me back even. So I'd rather sell off when I'm seeing that gain. Right. And then move on to something else or continue investing those index funds or what have you. So I don't have to you know, hit that valley and, and take those losses. So that is kind of my strategy when it comes to some individual stocks and I can continue dollar cost averaging in other companies. Tesla is a very, very unique case just because it goes through these very, very weird peaks and valleys that other companies just don't in that way. I think that is just the way that Elon is, but that is a completely different rant for another day. But again, Tesla is not perfect. Okay. I will, again, tell it how it is. When Tesla is bad, I'll tell you it's bad. When it's good, I'm right, like right now, I'm telling you now that it's good. I think it could get a whole lot better here in the very near future. But if you want to see both sides of the issue, then you absolutely want to watch this video next.